Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we're going to be looking at fire heater. Okay, how to model a fire heater. So let's just quickly look at a um, case study here. All right. So let's say we have crude oil feed with inlet temperature of 23 degrees Celsius, and we want to heat it up in a furnace or a fire heater, as the case may be, to 750 degrees Celsius. And that this crude oil is at 14 bar. Okay, so we need basically three strings here. We need the, the feedstock, which is in this case, which is the um, crude oil. Um, we need a fuel, all right, which can be nafta or gas, probably methane or something. Um, we also need air to aid the combustion in the fire data chamber. So we'll have a fuel gas or a flare from the top, then we'll have. Um, the crude oil has been um, heated up all right to 750 degrees Celsius. So, basically, this is what we are going to be doing. So, let's go back to our Aspen Heights environment. All right, so in this case, since we are using crude oil, we'll just choose any of the feedstock from Petroleum Marseille. So, let's look at the Petroleum Marseille and choose any particular crude oil feedstock. So, I'll just go straight to this. There's a video on this. In my channel on how to um, select crude oil from petroleum assay so just leave that check that out all right so just select um, depending on the crude oil you're working on so you check out the component Celsius so work with um, this all right please do well to like the video and uh, subscribe okay so we have to wait for the list of uh, petroleum assays to come up so we can just pick any of these at random um, let's say we're working with um, Bombay High all right so click on it and set, click on OK so that will generate the assay for us so we have to wait for it to come up all right so this is our Bombay High 1983 okay so we've done this already and automatically to select a few package for it all right, so we'll go straight to the simulation environment and um, see how it goes from there. So we're going straight to our simulation environment. Now, if you don't have basis in Aspen Heights, you can start from the first video I posted in this channel. All right, start from the very first video, and um, I believe with time you'll get acquainted with the environment, and you'll be able to carry out your own simulation without um, much assistance. Okay, so this is our crude oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we are in our solution environment to get our feed stream. Then um, we need to get our feeder. Mm -hmm. So, all these things I'm doing, I've already done that in my previous video on. Uh, Petroleum assay, so you can check that out. So we get the feeder, and um, we have to define a crew as follows. So um, here we have one be high. So let's call this our crude oil. Okay, um, come over to parameters. So everything is okay here. So we'll just concentrate to this place. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Sorry about that. So we get this, and um, we need to define. So the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius, and um, the pressure is 14 bar. So we have um, 23 degrees Celsius. Sorry. 23 and um, 14 bar. Then the uh, flow rates. I'm going to change. Um, okay, let's work with this. So let's say we are working with um, 2,000 barrel per day. So just come over to this place and select uh, barrel per day. Okay, so actually is ready. So this is what we want to we want to heat this up in the furnace. So we'll be using a, a fire heater to model that. Okay, so this is our fire heater. So get the fire heater, all right. So I'll have to double click on this. Let's, let's do that. 
So the crude oil comes in here, and um, we have air. We have air, and um, here we can just say so we're using methane as our fuel. So let's just type in fuel here. Fuel, and uh, we'll go out and define everything. So this is here. So for fuel, we're going to be using methane. So it depends on what you're using as your fuel um, composition. So we're using methane as our fuel. We use um, composition of one. Um, that's called so methane. Uh, okay. So we need to define. Um, for now, we don't know what the temperature is. So we need to define the pressure. Um, the pressure has to be the same. Or very close to um, that of the crude oil coming in, so we're using 14 bar. And uh, for now, we don't know what the flow rate is, so we don't know what the likely temperature is going to be. So we'll leave that at that right now. So we'll come back to air, and um, let's say we have for air, we have um, 32 degrees Celsius, 14 bar. Remember, air normally is supposed to come in at one atmosphere, so we're assuming that this has been compressed uh, to 14 bar. Okay, so composition, we go converse composition. So we, here we have um, 0 0.79 of nitrogen, then um, oxygen will be 0 0.21. 0 0.21. Okay, so that's our air. So let's. Okay, so we'll go straight to our fire heater. So here we have. Um, have our flare okay we have our flare and uh, we'll go over to wash it sorry okay um our outlet stream we'll call it a uh, hot crude okay so come over to parameters then we need to define the efficiency. Okay, the efficiency of the furnace. So let's use um, 85 percent, 85 percent efficiency. So you can decide whatever you want, the efficiency you want, depending on the kind of the project you're carrying out. Uh, we also need to define the excess air percentage. So we can use 25 uh, percent. It all depends on what you're working on. So for this, we're using 25 percent, and um, come back to the worksheet. So what we need here from our question is 750 degrees Celsius. So our hot could be 750 degrees Celsius. Okay. 750 degrees Celsius. Okay. We need to vary the temperature of fuel to be able to get the rest. So what I need to do here, I need to keep varying this. So let me try 300 degrees Celsius. There's temperature cross. Um, try um, 200. Um, try 100. Okay, um, let me try 500. Okay, so. Okay, so let's try 550. So you keep varying. The fuel temperature to know the exact fuel temperature that is needed for um, you to be able to achieve an outlet temperature of 750 degrees Celsius. So if you try 540, let's see if you can get that. Um, 548. Alright, so let's try. So 550. Now, I haven't done that. I says we calculate the, uh, the flow rate of air that we needed. And the flow rate of fuel that we needed to get this job done. So this is how to handle fire heater simulation in Aspen Isis. Alright, so our fire heater is solved. As you can see, we have our flare, we have our crude. Uh, so let's check the composition of our flare. Uh, if you come to you come to composition, and you discover that you have about 72% nitrogen. 8% oxygen, um, about 7%. Um, uh, I'm sorry, you have about 3% oxygen rather, 72% nitrogen, 3%, 3.8% oxygen, 
we have our 70 cents CO2 uh, so those are the things we have there water we have our 15 percent of water okay so that's our flare stream for this then uh, you can also check your hot crude so you have your 750 and everything is sold so this is your crude oil probably you want to heat up 750 before you send it to another unit probably for um, distillation or whatever you want to fractionation whatever you want to do would include at the end of the day so this is how to model a fire heater so in the next tutorial i might probably handle a cooler before we go into i think somebody asked for um one of the one of the videos i posted someone asked for crude oil distillation that's crude distillation unit simulation so we'll get that as soon as possible uh, so just look up to that very soon we'll get that on our channel thank you for your time